Hey guys, this is Kelly with City Slickers Homesteaders. So, um, since it's actually not raining and pretty nice out, I figured I'd give you a tour of the garden for this year. So, we dug, well, my husband dug this up um, earlier in the spring. And we got the black fabric down to help keep the weeds up. But that over there is just typical gourds. And then we got uh, like a jade pumpkin. Uh, I believe that's the crimson watermelon and then that's another type of watermelon that was just one we got from the store because those seeds hadn't popped up yet so we got that from the store and then um, kind of planted these late but these are gonna be the uh, long beans like the Asian beans so there's three that's popped up and actually there's another one and I think, yep, there's one right there, too. So, we we'll have five of them. So, but what we're going to do with this, once they get bigger, we'll let them come up the fence. And we've got some chicken wire. I'm going to, like, go over, put some, like, poles right here. So, it'll be, like, an arch that they can grow over. And then these are all of our peppers. Um, there's some, um, like, sweet peppers, kind of like banana peppers. And then red ones. We just got these at a local nursery um, because the ones we had, because we started from seeds, but we put them out when it was getting warm because it was actually decent for like a couple weeks. And then we had like a frost, actually a couple nights of frost. So it killed some of our seedlings. So then up here, we got some purple sage. Haven't decided if we're gonna put that in the ground or in a pot. And then some lavender. And this one I found at one of our local nurseries. It's called Whorehound. I'm really excited to try this one. So it's um, a good cough remedy. So um, I figured this would be good to add to, like when I make my chamomile tea, I can dry these and add that to it. And then we've got this was cilantro. We got some chamomile. Um, I think this was marjoram. Learn from my mistakes. Um, label everything. Because I planted some herbs here and I don't even remember which one's which now. <laughs> so, learn from my mistakes. And then these tomatoes we got from a friend's dad of ours. Because, um, like I said, ours died. So these first two are San Mazzaros, Mazzaros, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And then these are Romas. I've already had to pick off some um, little starter blooms on them because I want them to get a little bit bigger. Um, and we got some pretty marigolds to help bring in the bees. And then the rest of these we got other at a uh, local nursery two just to kind of make up for ours that got hit by the frost so there are different varieties um, but they're more of like a beefy kind like here's one okay that's the marglo so the rest of those are marglows can't remember which ones those were oh, my husband bought those so and then those peppers are the ones that we got from a uh, friend of ours dad that grew them too. They're actually starting to get some blooms on them too. So, and these are horseradish from last year. So, we're letting them go and then we're going to pull them out in the fall to make some horseradish. Now that's a uh, catnip that we planted last year that came back up. So, that's fun. This, we also, another thing we learned is don't put seeds in the garden when it's already got mulch down and you have days and days of rain because then the mulch gets right back over them and then your seeds never come up. So but we got some broccoli and cauliflower and then those are our radishes. I've got one uh, sugar snap pea there. I had a couple back there, but I think... I think we got slugs eating them. Um, there's a couple more cauliflowers. They're getting eaten too. 
and then we got um, spaghetti squash. This is the first time growing that. We got that from a local nursery. And then I've got a couple rows of onions. And then we've got cucumbers back there. And a couple green bean plants coming up. Those were one of the things that's like my husband planted like 25 seeds. But because after he did, we got so much rain and it just it moved the mulch. Because we left the lines open when we planted them. But when it rained like a week <laughs> it just covered them back up so not all the seeds sprouted so but our solution for that for next spring is our new greenhouse these will eventually become benches my dad got these he's been working with a friend that has uh, had an old barn that needed to be tore down um, after it got hit by the tornadoes last year that went through Dayton. It's actually a year ago this past week. Um, so he's got those for us and we've got like some like little smaller ones that you can like put underneath a corner and make it make it like the legs for it. So but this is our greenhouse. Um, actually found it on Amazon for a really good price. And it was actually pretty easy to to put together and it's got like two windows on each side let me show you a little bit better here and then these are our buckets of stuff we had those in there but it was raining pretty good yesterday so I just brought them out so they could get some fresh rain but we've got like one of them's all regular orange carrots and then one's like a, a mixed variety those we got from MI Gardener um, and we've got we've got two white sages but i'm not sure what the difference is that one we bought at a local nursery this one i bought some seeds online but they look way different but they're supposed to be both white sage so i'm not sure um this bucket was one my daughter did of flowers so these this is a sunflower and then i'm not sure the other seeds that she planted <laughs> kind of had like a whole bunch of random seeds that she did and then my husband did a whole bucket of chamomile. So we want some more of that. And then he planted something else in that, but I can't remember. He's been a lot more involved with the garden this year. So, but what we did, let me show you in here. So it's a, a 10 by 7. And it's supposed to be 6 foot tall. But on, like, the post right there, they gave you either, like, a rubber uh, solid end to put underneath it like if you were going to put it on a flat surface or little spikes so we put the little spikes in so it went down the ground so it's not quite six foot tall but it's our lettuce variety some more herbs some flowers those are some of our peppers that actually survived the frost but we just haven't done anything with them yet so but yeah and this is actually really sturdy it's actually took a lot of rain and wind storm so but yeah so that is our garden so far so the next time we get something going i'll show you guys have a great night